वेलकम बैक गाइज वेलकम बैक टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल स्टीलिंग फ्रॉम द फ्यूचर नाउ टूडे आई एम गुड स्पीक अबाउट सिचुएशन दैट इज हैपन इन यूनाइटेड स्टेट्स यू नो करेंटली आफ्टर द जो बाइडन गवर्नमेंट यू नो विद द कांग्रेस डेमोक्रेट्स वर्कड फीवरिशली वर्कड वेरी हार्ड बट फेल टू अग्री ऑन अ लॉन्ग टर्म सोल्यूशन दैट कुल प्रोटेक्ट मिलियंस ऑफ अमेरिकन्स फ्रॉम बींग एविक्टेड during this covid-19 influx a nationwide eviction moratorium will cease and will expire this saturday around 47 billion dollars of housing aids from the federal government is yet to be given out to the states to the renters and the landlords putting around 3.6 million americans at risk of eviction which could be any time any day within few days at 12 am on saturday the eviction is going to expire as it became evident that there would be no agreement that would be reached joe biden urged all the local governments to immediately disburse the monies as much as possible to the states and the concerned people the renters and the landlords but it was only hours before the prohibition was expiring it is possible that the evictions will start as soon as monday and i quote from the from the president himself there can be no excuse for any state or locality not accelerating funds to landlords and tenants that have been hurt during the pandemic every state and local government must get these funds out to ensure we prevent every eviction we can with the result becoming unexpected it showed that the congress and the white house expected each others to act on it which revealed a red split between the president and his congressional friends which could have a long term consequence as the country renters faces widespread evictions Joe Biden sparked the curry by saying that instead of challenging the Supreme Court ruling which signals the end of the prohibition he let it expire on Thursday he told the Congress to adopt a legislation to extend the deadline the administration has also tried a few other things to maintain the renters at in their homes in June they gave out around 1.5 billion dollars to around 3 lakh households on housing aids on uh, thursday the biden led administration also requested the housing department the urban development department the veteran affairs department and the department of agriculture to extend the deadline for at least single home owners a uh, single home uh, renters who are insured by the government well what will be the effects if the biden government fails well it could have a domino effect on the tax system of the country not only the tax system even the banking system will collapse and also it could affect the common masses as the people will be evicted from their homes the owners won't have any money to pay off the loans not only the loans they won't be able to pay the property taxes which could lead to a lack of revenue for the government who is already facing a lot of crisis due to the situation from last year 2020 lack of revenue for the government which could lead to a, a country market crash or usa market crash a usa market crash if it crashes could also affect a lot of international markets which could lead to a global market crash can you believe it so let's hope the government handles the situation well and gets it under control